stop wasting time and let's get using bullhorn tasks in the right way. So when you come on to bullhorn, you can see there's a couple of options for you to add a task. Firstly, you can come to the add button and in the drop down, you have the option to add a task. Alternatively, you can add this from the task card within the profile. If the task card isn't there, speak to your administrator uh, within your system if it is not available via the layout options. Or you can come to actions and you can add a task up there. Additionally, you can add tasks within other areas of Bullhorn, such as on a placement form, which will then take you to adding the relevant task. Alternatively, if you were on a contact uh, or anywhere within Bullhorn and you needed to add a note, you also have the option to schedule the next action, which would be a task so keep an eye out for the schedule next action boxes across Bullhorn where you can add in an additional task. As normal within Bullhorn, there's many ways for you to add tasks. Do whatever is best for you. So in this scenario, we're gonna add a task up here. The subject of this is gonna be whatever is most important. Pro tip for me is make the subject line really clear, really simple, so you know exactly what the task is. We're going to come through and we're gonna call this call Gandalf regarding interview feedback. Lovely. You could put a description in here, however, you may not need to. There's no point in us adding in more information if it's not necessary. We wanna get these tasks on as quickly and as efficiently as we can. So the owner of this is myself and it's assigned to me. You could potentially assign this to somebody else in your business if needed. Uh, and then you can assign them there. Um, you've got different types. This is a sourcing call. You can update and use whatever one is right for you. If you need a new task type or a new priority type that isn't on here already, come over to menu, admin, system settings. If you're not an admin account member within your Bullhorn, then speak to somebody who is, who will be able to add this on or speak to Bullhorn support. We're gonna come to the top here. We're gonna type in task. And you can see that you can update the task priority list to whatever you need it to be. Just do a normal uh, comma and then the word and spell it correctly. Or you've got the task type list that is here and we can fill this out so we can call this marketing. Marketing check-in, just for example. Save that. As with any changes on Bullhorn, log out, log back in and your change will then be there. So we'll come back to adding the task for Gandalf and you can see we've got the sourcing call and it was low priority. This is gonna be due today at 8 a.m. Uh, and this is gonna be a public event. I would always recommend that your, event, your tasks and anything like this within Bullhorn is public. So if you're um, off on annual leave and you're unable to make the call, somebody else can pick this up for you. So public things in Bullhorn, that's always a really good pro tip. Now we want a reminder for this. This is then gonna pop up in your Outlook diary. So we're gonna put this in at 10 minutes. And there is not a contact on this record because we've got the candidate here, but if there was, you can fill this in. You could also come through and add it against the vacancy. So you've got the vacancy tagged in there at this point as well. And then you can press save. However, for some tasks, we can take this a step further. As you can see, You've got task repeats. So you could do an interval based task and you could say, we want the frequency to be every day, every week, every month or every year. And then the ca or calendar based. So you can say the first Monday of the month, we want this task to be there. This is so, so helpful, especially if you're doing contractor care or you've got check-ins of regular clients, you can create a task that's gonna reoccur so you never forget about it. And that can be done for the rest of time, helping make you really, really efficient within what you do. As you can see, now back within the open tasks on this profile, we have got the task there, which is really, really helpful. However, within Bullhorn, it's really good to give us a full overview of what we've got going on with different tasks and different records. And that is where the task overview comes in. So we'll go to menu, tasks, and here we have all of the tasks that are available. So we've got three tasks here that are due and we can see all the information in here. Once I've done this task, I can very simply tick it off and that will shadow it. 
so we know that's been completed. It's a really good idea to create some favorite searches for this so you're not bombarded across uh, with all of the tasks that you've got available. So you can come through, you can uh, add some filters on, um, e.g. Um, ones that are this week or today. And that's just gonna mean you've got a bit more visibility of what you've got going on within the task. So you're not bombarded with all the different tasks from your team or things that are no longer needed. As time goes on and you use this more and more, you're gonna have a lovely long list of tasks to complete. So get on top of it and keep it clean and tidy. However, there's one more hack that I want to show you that really does elevate the whole task function. And that is by adding them on automatically via Bullhorn Automation. So if you were to come to a new candidate-based automation, we're gonna call this Candidate Care. Now, once you've created the lists, you can come through and we can add a task on. So as you can see here, you've got many options, including adding a task. You can add the subject for your task like we did before. You can add a body to it. So for example, in this scenario, you might wanna say, check in with candidate, um, no recent contact. We can then make sure that this is a um, the relevant call type. So we'll just say this is a sourcing call again. And we wanna add in a reminder. So you've got that information and then we can save that. This candidate is gonna come through and a task will get added. Once we've completed that, you can press end this automation. And that is just a very classic one step automation. However, you could fill this in with anything within Bullhorn Automation. So you could add this and add tasks on before start date, end date. You could use this for business development. There are so many possibilities within Bullhorn Automation to add on tasks at key points to make sure that you're having the communications with the right people at the right time with the right message. There's lots of other advanced CRM techniques that can really help increase efficiency and the work that you're doing. So go check out this video next that will give you some really good tips and tricks.